Innovation in mobility went far beyond typical modes of transport. At CES, the metaverse and how different technologies can interact with virtual reality emerged as a key theme. The metaverse may be best known for now as a space for gaming and virtual reality headsets, but one Korean car maker has unveiled a new concept, Meta Mobility, an interactive and partly virtual future where humans interact with robots to move around, do various tasks remotely, and automate travel. Hyundai Motor Company, the largest automaker in South Korea, has been manufacturing cars since 1968. Today, their business explores future mobility solutions beyond passenger vehicles. And propelling this future forward, they say, is the use of intelligent robotics. As an automotive company, we are thinking about the future vehicle. We can make some strong synergy between automotive engineering and robotics technology. In 2021, Hyundai acquired Massachusetts-based robotics company Boston Dynamics. The company is best known for its four-legged robot dog, Spot, which can scan its surroundings, maneuver across different environments, and even dance. Boston Dynamics highlighted two new robots, Stretch, a robot designed specifically for heavy lifting in warehouses, and Atlas, a research and development robot, which explores the boundaries of a robot's mobility and can move in a similar way to humans. We're all about robots and robot intelligence. Boston Dynamics really started as a mobility company, and we, for many years, concentrated on the problem of making a robot that can go anywhere. And anywhere could one day include virtual worlds as well. Hyundai unveiled its so-called meta-mobility concept, which they say brings robots into the metaverse. If you've ever wanted to be in two places at once, they say it could be possible in a sense. The technology would allow a user to be stationed in one space, while a robot allows them to virtually be present in another. Our robots are being used by many of our customers to build digital twins. So they mount scanners on the robot, who then go scan an environment, build a model, and then use that in metaverse-type uh, applications.